Z obtained formula. This is how we use the Z obtained formula. Z OBT means obtained equals bar X or the sample mean minus mu, the population mean divided by population deviation mean. We'll take this step at a time. First, we have to figure out the sample mean. Remember that for that, the formula is bar x or mean equals summation x, the sum of x divided by n. Okay, the sum of x, what that is, is you're adding all the scores together, 44 plus 55 plus 39 plus 17 plus 27 plus 38 plus 36 plus 36 plus 24 equals 316. And the n, which the total number of scores, here there's nine different scores n equals 9. So what this is, is the sum of x, summation x, 316 divided by 9. So bar x or the sample mean equals 35.111111, which that equals, as you round it, equals 35.11. Okay, now we're on to, we get to figure out this right here. The population deviation mean. Okay, that equals the population deviation divided by the square root of n. Okay, so the population deviation, notice up here that's this 11.35. So 11.35 is going to come down here. 11.35 divided by square root of n right there, which is 9. What's square root? Remember, square, square root is like what number multiplied by itself equals that number. So this one's kind of easy. 3 times 3 equals 9. So that becomes 3. And it's 11.35 divided by 3 equals 3.783. Round that to the second decimal place, which is the hundreds place, tens hundreds. That becomes 3.78. Now we have these two parts for the formula, that and that, so we're, we're good to go, we can do it, because it already gave us the population mean, which is mu, it gave us that already, so we come over here, we're ready to fill in our equation, z obtained equals sample mean minus population mean, or bar x minus mu, divided by the population deviation mean, so we take the numbers, 35.11, remember that's from here, minus 55, that comes from here, that's the mu, the population mean, and that's divided by the population deviation mean, which we figured out over here, which is 3.78, plus that number comes up to here. So the z obtained, what we do is we first subtract the order of operations, so first we subtract this, 35.11 minus 55 equals negative 19.89 divided by 3.78, which equals the z obtained is negative 5.261904762. And we want to get that over to two decimal places over, so the z obtained equals negative 5.26. It just makes me think, whoa, what's going on over here? The Z obtained is so far below the population mean. What's going on? There must be a grave error possibly, which is a type 1 error. Which other videos will explain the difference between a type 1 and type 2 error. And if there wasn't an error going on, we'd basically have to say, whoa, contact the magazine, some papers, something really remarkable is going on here. So that's basically how to use your Z obtained formula. And we'll go into um, the significance with looking at the Z tables later in another video.